All right, we've got the next video for you in the Java series on the basics of Java. In the Hello World video, we talked about your very first program where we asked Hello World to be printed to the screen. We wanted to expand on those concepts. There are two different ways to print in Java. Well, there's, there's a third way, but we're going to talk about two of them uh, today. And there's also a few things you need to be mindful of when you're printing called escape sequences. So short video today talking about those two things. Um, first of all, the difference between print and print line. When we're printing, we always start with the same thing, system.out.print. And then from here, we can either say it can either be print or print ln, which stands for print line. Some people say print lin, whatever. Floats your boat, I guess. Um, the way that print line works is it says, please put this text into the console. And once you have finished putting the text in the console, uh, move me down to the next line. It's like the old typewriter carriage return, right? Zing goes down to the next line. So if I say, hello world, and then I say, uh, you know, whoa, something like that. What we're going to see is these two things are going to appear on different lines. I go to my file and grab the main method after I've compiled with control K. And sure enough, hello world, whoa, they appear on two different lines. If I take the print line away, we're going to see them show up on the same line. The only thing that trips people up here often is uh, when does that enter happen? Does it happen before the text, after the text? It happens after. So just to clarify, we say system out the print ln, and then I said something like, uh, hello there, for all you Star Wars fans out there. So we've got hello world, whoa, and hello there. If I change this to ln, here's what we're asking Java to do. We're saying, hey, please put hello world in the console. Then, on the same line, because I didn't say print line, then print out whoa. Once you're done printing whoa, please go down to the new line, and that's where you'll print hello there. So we can try out, compile with control K. We run with the main method. And there it is, hello world, whoa, hello there. Um, it, I guess for the purpose of this display, it doesn't matter if this last print statement is print or print line. It won't appear different at all on the screen. You'll notice if I execute it, it looks the same. The difference is if this is print line, if I added a fourth statement, it would then get its own line there below hello there. That's, that's really the difference. Okay, so you can print, keeps it all on the same line. You can print line, which gets you down to a new line. That's all well and good. You may have noticed if you tried any of the fun challenges, like I often ask my students to print a smiley face. Well, some of them, they go to print this smiley face and they see that some symbols are forbidden in Java, right? So if you're trying to print out, um, I saw somebody do a couple of stars. And then, gosh, I guess you print out like some kind of a nose, I guess. It looks a little bit weird. And then uh, you go to print out the smile. We go backslash, some underscores, forward slash. All right, so it's a, it's a bit of a creepy clown smile. It's not the friendliest looking thing, but that's meant to be a smile. I go to hit control K and oh, I get this weird error. It says illegal escape character. So what is that? Well, I, when they were composing Java, they realized they were going to have a problem anytime somebody wanted to print out a quote. Right, so if I want to print out, like, she said, uh, no way, uh, something like that, and then end quote. Well, look at the problem that Java has here. Java thinks that we are terminating our string. And by the way, it's worth mentioning that anything in Java that is between two quotes is considered a string. A string is another word for a string of characters or words. Um, you can include letters, numbers, symbols. Strings can be just about anything, spaces. Um, so between the quotes are my strings. And I see here, you know, Java thinks that I've tried to end my string, but I was just trying to put a quote in my print statement. And now Java's confused. And so they didn't want to make us pick a different symbol so that we didn't understand what was going on. They said, okay, we need a way to put quotes in. And the way it's done is we do backslash quote. When you do backslash quote, that is like a secret code 
where you're telling Java, okay, don't print out the backslash. I'm just letting you know this is an escape sequence. The symbol that comes after the backslash will communicate what it is that I want you to do. And in this particular case, uh, we'll go ahead and delete the, the odd smiley face. Compile it, run it. She said, no way. Uh, I guess I have a little extra space in there. And we see that the backslash quote, and backslash the slain for that is whack. We see the whack quote turned into just a single quote. This is an escape sequence. There are many. Uh, we only particularly use four in my class, and I'll put those down right here. So we've got uh, backspace, backspace quote is for quote, makes a quote appear on the screen. Um, you can, have, oops, I put a forward slash in, didn't I? It's definitely a backslash. Um, but of course, because backslash is the escape character, a single backslash will confuse Java, which is why the smiley face was confused a moment ago. So backslash, backslash, backslash will just give you a single backslash. Whack, whack, as we call it. Um, there is also backslash n, whack n says take me to a new line. And last but not least, uh, backslash t, which is for tab, uh, which roughly means add eight spaces. It's, it's not always exactly eight spaces, just like in your word processing document, it will tab forward to the next line. Um, so to give you an idea of how some of these work, if I was like, uh, if I said, this is whack, whack, and I put in two backslashes, then I go to print it out, and we see it's become one. If I put a backslash n between these, compile and run it, we will see it moved it down to a new line. That's the purpose of the new line escape sequence. Tab's a little trickier, so you're gonna wanna watch carefully. We're gonna have to count some spaces. If I say, um, I don't know, orange, whack tea, lemon. I was picking a couple of fruit, I, I guess. And I look and see what happened here. Whack tea says complete eight characters. Move forward in groups of eight. So orange has five letters, which means that the whack tea needed to provide me three more spaces, which it did, and then it started writing lemon. If instead I had been, I had said uh, orange lemon, all one word, whack tea, and then, I don't know, apple, I guess we'll keep with the fruit theme, and I did this, we're gonna see, okay, orange lemon is, uh, orange is five letters, lemon is five letters, that gets me to 10. Well, that's beyond eight, so now I gotta go to 16. So tab had to provide five spaces and then I was able to start writing Apple again. And those are escape sequences. So just to review, we've got two different kinds of printing. You can print or print line. When you're printing your string literals, when you're printing your words, be cautious if you need some special symbols like a backslash or a quote that you might need to use or you will need to use an escape sequence. And escape sequences can also be useful for formatting text with a whack T or uh, helping include multiple lines of output on one line of code by using WACN. Those are the points. Okay, thank you.